Got like two hours to fish. Just got out to this quarry again and it starts to rain. It's uh, like 10 degrees colder up here than it was at my house. Now I have the four inch Easy Shiner on there. I'm gonna walk up a little further now that it stopped raining. I'm fishing this water that I know is pretty deep. Fishing a G Loomis GL3 66, six, rated eighth ounce to three ounce. Some six pound fluoro and a uh, old Shimano Stratic. It's a pretty nice little light tackle jigging arrangement. I hear the rain. Just when I thought. The rain might stop. Maybe it would miss us. Alright, this is not good. The rain is getting bothersome. It looks like it might be more severe than previously thought. We got a slinky looking little point over here. Oh, the rocks are slinking. Let's cast out in this one. This could be the deep, deep good stuff. Oh, fish on hit really hard. Oh. Oh, I was hoping it was the perch. But it it's a large mouth. Hey, I am not unhappy with this pretty little cold water reservoir large mouth. Inhaled. Inhaled the shiner. Let's just let him go. He's out. See that? Our first cast in deep water. He yielded the results. We got the fish. We avoided the skunk. If somehow, by some miracle, it's not pouring tomorrow morning, I'm going to come back. I'm going to fish the spot I wanted to fish. There was some shady stuff going on in the parking lot of the spot where I wanted to fish. Drug deal or something. Sketchy, like, country folk there. Some kind of meeting of criminals. So I came to this other lot. Never fished this side of the lake. Got one fish. It looks promising over here, I'm sure. Sure you can do some damage over here. Oh. All right. Hopefully, we'll see you tomorrow. All right, it's very early the next morning. It's really only like misting. And it's about 6.30. So it's just starting to get bright. Yeah, I'm trying to get back to this reservoir. I rigged up a drop shot today. I'm gonna bring my panfish rod tiniest reel, 1,000 reel, four pound fluoro. Go as light as possible. Um, should be amazing fishing. It's low pressure, kind of warm. Hoping for that 15 inch perch. That's all we're going for, the 15 inch perch. All right, here we are. Walking just right into the haunted woods of the lake. Traveling very light today. Just a rod and a little bag and some snips. 
first time driving out here early in the day and it's raining and there's like some little you know I would call them mountains that you have to drive through and it was super foggy I didn't see any other cars on the road it uh it's definitely spooky out here. Kind of spooky to be walking around out here by myself. But that's just what we gotta do. The sun has just risen. It's still pretty dark. Feeling real good about our fishing prospects. Fish on. Look at that. First cast. After switching to the shiner. And they're on it. What do we got? Looks like a big perch. That's what we want. Oof. I mean, not quite as slobby as some of those ones I was getting last time, but uh, still, I mean, that's, a, that's at least a 12, maybe a 13 inch perch. Very nice. Very good. Crazy they weren't hitting the drop shot, but they'd eat that first cast. Something bigger, faster. I think they eat the drop shot all the time. Maybe it's because I suck at the drop shot. It could be why. Ooh, banged it. Mm. Some serious head shakes on this one. This is a perch. Oh my god. Oh, it's a perch. Oh my god. I mean, I think this could be it. This could be the one. Please don't come off now that I said that. Oh, it's because it's a bass. Dang. Oh, if that was a perch, it would have been a monster. Still, that's about the typical bass I've been catching here. Super pretty and healthy. One, one and a half pounds. God, I wish that was a perch. Four and a half pound perch. Whew. Let's see if we can go three casts in a row here. Very doubtful. Oh, I had him. And I lost him. If it's perch, I bet they'll be back on it. That was a decent, uh, decent bite, and there he is again. Dang. Okay. They just wanted the shiner. They were just waiting for the shiner. Here we go. All right, absolute worst timing ever. This is the perch that winter fishing dreams are made of. I'm thinking it could be the one. To zero. Oh, it's 14 inches. Dang. 14 inch yellow perch. Oh, that fish is beautiful. So fat. So healthy. Oof. Oh, yeah. I don't remember if I ever got a 14 inch yellow perch out of the Chesapeake when it was golden, but I know I've never got one out of PA, so I'll take that. I will take it all day. Fourteen inch perch. Now the question is, is there a fifteen inch perch? So I had a fish on, missed it and then caught that perch. 
They seem to be per you know, not too close, but probably on the transition from deep to shallow. Oh, there he is. Oh my god. That's four casts in a row. There's definitely a piece of structure here. I was feeling it when I had the drop shot on. Very rocky and sticky. Another mango. Oh, it's so heavy. Look at that thing. Look at the shoulders. Beautiful. Beautiful fish. Go back to your school. There's a the fish. Whoa, 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 it's a big perch. Oh my god, that run. Dang. Dang. It's another really, really nice one. There he goes. All right. That was a nice, nice little no bite, bite right there. Oh, it's another perch. Oh yeah. Yeah, come to Papa. Minimum size is, is beautiful, 12 inches at least. Oh, nice bite. Nice bite. Oh. Oh. This fish has got some weight. He swam in. This could be, if this is a perch. We might be talking state record. Oh, it is a perch. Oh my god. It's a big one. This. Uh, that is a perch right there. A two hander. So happy to catch fish like that. That was an interesting bite. Oof. I think it's a bass. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This might be the nicest bass of the day. Jig pretty close to shore. Nice little bass. Fish for like seven more minutes. Well, I think my time is about done here. Pretty darn good day. PB perch, couple nice bass.